We are back. Like a heart attack. Like a heart you attack. Your, are you turning your audio or video? Yeah, on? yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we, I, back in December, me and Michael were talking. We think um, it was that we had recorded this podcast, and I, like an idiot, it's the second time I've done it out of 166 episodes or something, 170 now. Something like that. <laughs> deleted it. Oh, man. Basically, you know, I'm the kind of guy, I get the information off the cards, save it to my SSD, because I do everything off there now instead of my desktop, just so it moves faster. Solid state drive, right? Although that's what mine is. But anyways, I put it on there and I clean my stuff up. I like to stay or try to stay organized, you know? Yeah. <sighs> I stayed a little too organized. <laughs> and what I did is I had done the video part portion of it, but I didn't do the audio from the board and ended up deleting it. So we're gonna go back over this again. We're gonna there's gonna be kind of two parts to this. So you'll get this first part. And basically how we're gonna start off, and we wanted to talk about I believe is freedom of speech. And what had happened to me, and I cannot remember what episode I fought it and actually came back on, was an episode that I had I was ranting, raving. I think I was solo on that one. I was by myself, I think. I think you were, yeah. And they took it down. Oh, I was talking about the vaccines. <laughs> and and the, shh, shh, don't tell anybody I said that. They're, they're listening right now. <laughs> Fakey Fauci, as my dad says. <laughs> uh, and they took it down because I was talking about masks and vaccines. Man, you know, I think that was actually longer ago. Oh, I know what it was. On that episode I raced, we were talking about that episode. Okay. So I'm getting those mixed up because that was back like fresher, back maybe. It might have been end of November. End something of like November. that. And anyways, uh, yeah, there was some frustration there, you know, from that podcast being erased because it's like, hello, people, do we see there is no freedom of speech? Yeah. How can you not say what you want to say because it's what you believe in and you're not allowed to say that. Yeah. And you just literally, they just cancel you. They just shut you down. They delete you. Okay, so that Full Sin podcast, they took it off YouTube, and he posted, the, the main guy of that podcast to, uh, uh, posted it on his Instagram, just a screenshot of it, that you you violated, you violated our policies of... Uh, uh, let me look that up. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. It's unbelievable. It's like somebody's feelings got hurt or something. You violated our policies. Oh, okay. Listen to this. Let me start over. This is what he posted. I've actually got this before. This is almost like identical to what I got. Mm -hmm. It says YouTube in the top left of stamp says, Hi, Full Sin Podcast. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we we think this yeah. is an opinion. We think it violates our misinformation policy. Who gets to decide what it misinformation is? How do I know that anything you just told me on the last podcast is true? Right. I could just say right now, eh, I think that was misinformation. I don't think what you said, you probably just made that up or read it somewhere. Like, how, how do you give one person the power to say that's false? Right. Well, how do I know you're not lying saying it's, that is false and it is true? And really, what these companies are doing, like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all these other com all these kind of companies where you can post, and basically they're they're stating that hey, we're the we're the platform, we're the public platform, the what do they call it, the the public square where you yeah. can raise your voice and you know let your voice be heard. And you but, can't. But what they're saying to people though is, you're not smart enough to hear information, whether right or wrong, and determine your own outcome of, exactly. of it. Exactly. Um, we're just gonna erase what we think is the truth, what yeah, our truth is, our opinion. Yeah, and you can't hear it, and that's not that's not how we operate. No, you, and good or bad, you should be able to hear all information, just like a debate. You hear both sides. Yep. You make the determination based on the information you've been given. And they think that they're gonna stop that. It's we still do that. Yep. And if anything, they're shooting themselves in the foot because what happens when this stuff happens right here, think about, and I'm glad for it. I, I think I told you the other day, I was like, I'm glad this happened Yeah. because now all these people that may have had one mindset of something are thinking, wait a minute, even these guys that are kind of wild, kind of party, kind of do crazy things yeah. that we think are cool are getting shut down. Right. 
wait a minute. And then now they're going to do more research. So YouTube is foolish and stupid for doing this kind of stuff because now you're making yourself look guilty. Yeah. Well, and the two, like, and if you didn't hear the last podcast, um, is it was the the episode that the podcast they did with with Trump, and I forgot how many views it got. Was it, dude? It was, it was like five million. Or yeah, in or like twenty four hours. Five million in twenty four hours, and it got pulled. Barely got rolling. And so, it. and it was going to be the, probably their most popular video oh, by far. And <laughs> when that kind of stuff happens too, like everybody sees what happened, and yep. yeah, it's just absolutely ridiculous yeah. the power that these companies have. And you know you can't please you can't please everyone you know no. it's and that's not even the point of it it's just you you speak what you believe you try to go off the facts you try to do the right things just like I do on here and if there's something misstated I I would go back and correct it or you know whatever I would try to I'm not so well it depends I guess it depends on what it is because to me there's only one thing not to me there is only one thing that is an absolute. And that is the word of God, yeah. the Bible. And then everything else falls into that. There, there's nothing else that is going to be absolute and true than the word of God and the Bible. Anyways. Yeah. So um, I, I, I don't want to cut ahead on, on your notes, what you have for this one. I know we need to get rolling in this one. But uh, kind of go off of what you were saying last time since I deleted you. I can I canceled you, dude. <laughs> you don't pay your IT guy enough or something. I, you just need to get a little better support. I know. Support. I, I canceled know. you. Cancel culture on Michael Catano. <laughs> I, got, I got censored on my, 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 <laughs> my, my own podcast, podcast on censorship. <laughs> my, I'm co-host and I got censored by uh, my host. <laughs> no, when you told me that, I was like, wait, what do you do with your, how do you do this? So I, I don't know. Change your method maybe. <laughs> no, I, I know. know. Um, confirm and reconfirm. And it's funny that that would happen on that one. It but, is actually. <laughs> uh, you know, so that was like I think it was like the first one I was on. So I kind of ask you why well, you're such an immoral hunter, <laughs> yeah. you know, destroying the California <laughs> wetlands. <laughs> we won't get into that though. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think we kind of talked a little about election uh, elections and voting, mm -hmm. and because this I think it was fresh after after the election. Mm -hmm. I think it was like mid to end of November. And there was just there was a lot of disappointments. Yeah. Um, and oh, it it, it was um, it was uh, the California governor. Yes, election. the governor Newsom. That yeah. that was. Uh, anyways, go ahead. Yeah. So it, maybe it was a little it bit was. earlier. Okay. It was. So, um, but I know you were frustrated about you know saying if my vote doesn't count, then why even mm -hmm. do it? You know, and and really that it could be frustrating because you're thinking like, what? Why? Why even do it? Mm -hmm if it's not even going to count and really, and I think I kind of brought out too was, you know, I, we, we have our, our duty. If, if you're an American and you know, you have the right to vote. And if you think it is a sacred duty, um, to, to vote and to, to make your voice be heard that in that manner, you have to do your part. Mm -hmm. And for me, I have to do my part and whether or not somebody on the other side is going to be a little shyster and do some little shady stuff then I, you know, I, I have no control over what they do. Right. Um, the, the problem would be is if you don't vote and the, your, your vote would have actually counted, you know, mm -hmm. or been, been heard, you know, and don't think of you as a whole, like, Oh, you know, all the Republicans aren't getting counted. So I'm not going to be counted, you know, well, you have yeah. to do your part. And, and I heard something recently on this talking about voting and, you know, whether or not you think that your, your vote is being counted or not. Um, you have a responsibility, and it goes back to Genesis, where where God told Adam, you know, "Here's the garden, tend to it and keep it." Mm. Like this is what I'm handing to you to take care of. And we we read of you know governments in the Bible and what the government is in place there for, and uh, you know God puts these powers in place and for men to keep it and to take care of it. And that's what our founders did. They they wanted they were super careful whenever they wrote our constitution right. um, to make sure that things were in place to protect the people. Yeah. Um, that's why we have negative liberties where the government can't encroach on. And obviously that's gone out the window. Um, but uh, as voters, it is our responsibility to cast our vote um, regardless of what you think it, it, it gets counted or not. You, you have to do your duty and vote, um, you know, cause you don't know what, what your vote's being done, but you know, you don't know if it's being counted. It could be counted. 
mm-hmm. and then you're just throwing it away. You're not, you're not even letting your voice be heard. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I think too, we talked about, dem- or, you know, you hear this over and over again. And it's frustrating to me, and it should be frustrating to every single American. Is when when you hear people say our democracy, democracy this about America, America is not a democracy. We are we are a republic. We were we were established as a republic. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't put any laws. The majority of Americans don't put forth the laws right. and vote on it, mm-hmm. you know, and win. That's not how America is run. Right. You know, they say d- democracy is two wolves and one sheep uh, deciding on what's for dinner. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's mob rule. Yeah. And we are not a democracy, no matter what they what they say. We mm-hmm. are a, de- a democratic republic, and you know we have officials and and you know people that we put in power, representatives that we put in power that we voted on to write our laws and to you know be our voice right and that's not democracy it's that's a republic yeah. so this is a little lesson if if you hear somebody say democracy we're a democracy or our democracy you know that's not uh, best as you can just correct them or give them a little yeah. lesson and say hey you know fyi we're not a democracy we're a republic yeah so yeah oh and the I, problem is, and i think the problem is though is all the the leadership that we have the congress and in the uh, all that is that they're given too much time in office. Oh yeah. That's yeah, the I, problem. I, I think you need to there needs to be um what do they call it when they're the uh the terms are, the term their term, how long their term uh, should be. Yeah, a fr- there's a phrase for it. Yeah. Um anyways, yeah, I think they there there's no reason why the, some of these these people should be in office. Like Nancy years? Pelosi. 40, I mean 40, trying to keep her teeth years. in her mouth. Yes, <laughs> I know. It's like, you know, she's just. How is she still in office? I do and, and I remember, I remember being a kid, writing down like it was in grade school, writing down our 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 representatives, and it was Diane Feinstein and Barbara Boxer. Barbara, I think they both like left office. Or Barbara Boxer, I think left office a little while ago, or one of them. It's like they were in office in like recently, mm-hmm. and that's was like back in like the ninety early nineties, right? Like, why? Yeah. If you're not doing anything, get out of office. I yep. mean a true public servant is is there to serve and not there to be, you know, just you know, living off the American taxpayer and this is what they've done. And I think recently too they I, they vote their own raises in, right? I forgot who it is, Congress or whatever it is. They just voted to voted to give themselves like a 23% pay raise or something like, like that. Like that's what they truly <laughs> Dude, yeah. she Nancy Pelosi is 80 years old. Okay. Oh, I believe it. She has been. Oh, I just she, she got more stitches and Botox. <laughs> dude, there. 1987. She took office in Congress, dude. Oh no, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. That's uh thirty uh thirty four years. No, yeah. thirty five years. She's been there. Yeah, she got so much like, Botox in her face. Her oh. eyebrows are running to the hills. So <laughs> it's, she's like That's she's nuts. falling like, like physically she's falling apart. She's like a melted candle. Yeah. Um. And a lot of politicians are like that. They just need to be gone. You almost yeah, like you need to like get rid of everybody, good and bad, and then start fresh. <clears throat> there needs to be either an age limit. There should to me, there just needs to be a time in office. You should only be allowed so long. And here's the thing: you could say, "Well, what if somebody in there is good?" It was like I don't care either way. You, the problem with if there's someone good, there's also gonna be someone bad in there. I think there's a lot more <clears throat> bad. And yeah, just, yeah. And there's what, what they would call squishes that people that just don't stand up for anything. Yeah. We've seen that, get, that going on during the elections. Yeah, there's so many squishes in there that, you know, you only you only now. have a few people that really stand firm and yeah. and want to move America forward yeah. Yeah. and really stand up for what America is mm. and our rights. You know, that are really fighting for us um, and everybody else trying to push an agenda. Yep. So, um, but it, it's just yeah, it's in, it's insane. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, voting is our sacred right or, or our sovereign duty. And how some of these people get in office, I have no idea. Mm. I don't know who's voting for them. You know, what they say is, you know, when I die, make sure I don't vote, de- vote Democrat. <laughs> so, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's, it's funny, that, but it's that, true. That's a joke, <laughs> you know, on, on all spaces. Right. But. People that are dead do still vote. Yeah, <laughs> believe sure it or do. not. But um, then they don't it, count mine, it, and I've been alive yeah, for thirty eight yeah, years. You seem to die. I know. <laughs> and you, your vote will be counted. <laughs> Maybe not the way you want, but it'll take get me counted. now, Lord. <laughs> Let it be good for me, my next generation. Yeah. So, um, is there fraud? 
I believe there's fraud to what degree. I, I don't know, but it's hard I mean, to say that, that there's, due, there but... is no fraud. And and really, our trust in our elections has gone down. I don't care left, right, or center. Yeah. Um, you know, what's that one uh, woman from from Georgia? She complained about her her election. Whatever she said, she got defrauded. And you know, it, I mean, it kind of yeah. goes all the way around. Mm-hmm. And whether or not there there's some truth to anybody's statement, you know, you kind of have to look at look into things. And then I, I think our system needs to be corrected. So where there is accountability and. You know, they say that, you know, we want to bring in, you know, have verification, a voter ID, you know, and actually have a license. And they say that's racist. So, well, if that same person wants to go buy liquor, you have to ask for their ID. Is it racist to ask them for their ID for to buy liquor or to buy it to buy a gun or to drive a vehicle? Is that racist? I think it's racist to think that that person doesn't have a driver's license. Right. And to think that they don't know <laughs> right. how to get into the DMV. Yeah. You go to the DMV, it's it's a swamp full of, oh, of people. Ridiculous. And, you know, these people know where the DMV is at. You know, the people who you think that can't get there and can't, can't get a, a, a driver's license, they can get there. They can get right, their right. ID. Yep. And they have no problems. Most most yeah. people. They'll do. The majority of people care. do not mind the law. It's, it's the politicians that don't want to enact it because they know what will happen if you do that. Exactly. Um, and it's... <sighs> It, that that needs to happen. Yeah, we need to have some kind of like voter or ID where you bring in your dude, ID. Dude, one hundred percent. Come on. So, because there's too much fraudulent stuff. How do we confirm, dude? How do we confirm? Yeah. Like, give me a break. Yeah, our system, our system is broken. Oh, dude. So it's it's to really say the up. least. So, uh, I don't know if we want to get much into anything after that. I I know talk about cancellation and censorship, and what's funny is too is like you get canceled over something that you say. Or they'll bring up something from five years ago or ten years ago, something you said or people said, and you'll get canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, and the problem with America, and we talked a little bit this last time too, is is having a conversation, even though you don't agree. And you need we need to be able to have a conversation, and and you know just have the conversation, not not beat each other up with right. our conversation, but just talk about what each other thinks. Mm-hmm. You know, because me and you don't agree <clears throat> on everything, right? You know, we have similar beliefs on a lot on a lot of things. Yeah. But we're not gonna agree hundred percent on everything. So no. we can't we can't just agree hundred percent and only deal with the people that we agree with hundred percent and everybody else gets canceled. Right. Um we have to find common ground and as Americans that's easy to find. Yeah. You know, when if you you know, if you live in this country, then you know, you, there you can find the good in this country and the freedom that we have. And um and people don't want that. They, they they just want to cancel you. They want to shut you down. Mm. And we've seen that way too much. And there is no forgiveness in, no. In, in 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 America. No. You know because what you said before, and they've apologized for it. You but they're get such canceled. hypocrites, though, dude. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Because there's they're smart if you really think about it. They they create they put it on the backs of the people that you're you're racist. That you're um, <clears throat> uh, you're not open minded, and when I say I'm that, I'm talking about transgenderism and homosexual, all these things. If you're a bit any bit against and you don't agree with that, they try to put it on you. Yeah. But in all reality, they are the ones that don't like it. They're the ones that don't have forgiveness for it. They're the ones that don't want to tolerate it. Yeah. But they put it on other people. It's like, dude. I work with people of all those things I just named oh, yeah. off, and yeah. I I have no, I don't I'm kind to them. I'm nice. I work with them. Oh yeah, we work together. We're in the medical field, and we go do these things together, and and we have to work together and make this successful to get some to the hospital, take care of the patient, and blah blah blah. Be safe around the helicopter when the blades are spinning. Like we eat lunch together. We're at work. I mean, it's like I'm not the one that has the problem. And is talking bad about these people and and saying oh, I don't I don't think like that I don't do that I don't do that right you know but they put it on you just like when it comes to racism if you look deep into that the people that were the ones stirring up all the problems trying to create all the racist type things were the ones that actually were like all from the Ku Klux Klan yeah do you know that and they're Democrats they were all those guys <laughs> but they were making it sound like they were the ones that wanted to protect them and be their friends when in all reality they're the one in fact. If you look into the abortion, if you look into the the statistics and on the history of all the abortion, it's all those people. They 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 had a problem with different races and they wanted 
to use abortion as a way to for genocide and oh, yeah. to get rid of these races. Yeah. It had nothing to do with caring about the mother or caring about the style of life. Oh, it's yeah. sick, dude. It's it's so it's so wicked and deep and about money. That's a whole other topic, abortion, but I'm just bringing up examples of it. They the people that are acting like friends of all these different beliefs and mindsets oh, yeah. are really their worst enemy. They're they're being used. Oh, they're, they're just, being they're just, so used. They're just pieces on their chessboard to but use. But I do believe in this day and age we live in the, in the last two or years, one or two years, I do believe people have lights have kicked on and they've actually seen the truth. Yeah. I believe Trump was saying that too, you know, he was talking about I mean his his rate for the ethnic groups, his ratings were higher than almost any president has ever been. I'm sure, yeah. Um, and and they, you know, the media tried to make it sound like they hated him just because, oh, he's racist. He ain't racist. Like he said, everybody's racist now. Yeah. I love what he said, actually. He said, everybody, he goes, that word has lost total value. Oh, yeah, because you throw it out there so much. It's thrown out there so much no more. It doesn't even hurt my feelings anymore that if you're going to call me that, look who you call racist. Yeah, everybody you're, is. They'll even call people that are not white. Yeah. Because you're what? What are you, 50%? What are you? I, I, I'm a Heinz 57. Heinz 57. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 57 flavors, baby. <laughs> Baskin Robbins, 30, 31 flavors every day of the That's month. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, okay, I've grown up, and I throw that, I say that word and talk, joke about that because I don't give a care what yeah. color. Like, yeah. all my friends are black and Portuguese and Mexican. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm the one that there's not as many of me around. Yeah. <laughs> when have I ever cared? Like I'd rather hang around people like that. You know, yeah. it's like give me a break, man. Oh yeah. But they they try to just throw this off on us and they make it look like we're the bad ones. Like no 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> it's you guys that are up in these higher power places. You're using them, like you said. They're totally using these people, but they they're not so they're not so. Um, uh, unprivy to it now. People are figuring it out and realizing, you know what? It's not. Why are we fighting? Right. You know, why are we fighting? We're not the problem here. Yeah. You never thought that about me. I just had this mindset because I've been hearing it from, from the media, from T. Dude, look. Okay, it's funny because even me makes me like there'll be stuff playing at work, like an old say, like an old TV show. What was that one old TV show? Old, like from the night early nineties. You, you probably grew up watching it. Um. It was a black family and a white family. I can't family, remember. Family Matters? N well, was it with Steve Urkel? Or no, not that no. one. But it was. Fresh Prince of Bel Air? No, older than that. Maybe it might have been late 80s, early 90s. But, um, dude, they were in that show. I was like, oh, it even made me feel a little bit like, dude, that's kind of. <laughs> that is, that, now, that was kind of racist a little bit. <laughs> and that was on TV, oh, yeah. national television. I mean, that was there was no hiding to it. But yeah. we're we're so gun shy now about that stuff. It's just like. But you know what? It too. It's it's proven too. Is it you can you can be racist or you can do blackface and all this other stuff if you're if you got the D behind your name. Yeah. And you look at like Justin Trudeau. Like he had, yeah. he, he he was like pictured with blackface on several times. Right. 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 <laughs> it's like he he got away with it. There was that one governor in Virginia. He had pictures with blackface, and mm -hmm. then he had uh, or either that or. He was either and he had uh, he was like in in the clan outfit. <laughs> it was like, and that guy's still governor. Um, yes. So, but he, but he was a Democrat. Yeah. So, they, oh, they'll show grace to who they want to show grace to. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But everybody else is just you're going to get canceled. Well, we're not going the way that I we originally intended this no. one to go. But let me ask but. you this now. This is a straight up conversation. Um, I think we're going to sell Sarah's car. And get possibly a a boat, uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> a Prius. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Join the club. Your Biden mobile. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean that's. What are those running for right now? Like a brand new Prius, not loaded, nothing crazy, just straight. So to give a little people a historical context too is, um, maybe it was probably like four years ago. It was like four years ago I bought a Prius. Uh -huh. And I don't that know one? why. Not that one. Not that one. It was another yeah. one. And I was coming from, uh, uh, I forgot what I was coming from. Maybe it was like an old Ranger or something like that. 
I just thought like I'm gonna get something that's just economical. I don't have a large commu- a long commute, right? But I just thought like get and gas money wasn't bad back, you know. <laughs> no, dude, and you weren't even driving that, that, that far. Was, I was driving like you know 20 miles a day, <laughs> yeah. You know, round trip. <clears throat> so, um, and then I ended up getting a Mustang uh, a while ago, after, while uh, a while ago, uh, a little over a year ago, and that was like my my dream car, right? I never I never had a muscle car, and had that for a year, and then gas prices went up, and I was like, ah, I just I can't can't really justify this car and you know obviously it was a more expensive car and it recently got back to another prius um a few months ago so well i mean miles has that gun on it that one has 30 uh, i'll say i bought it with like 35 now okay it's like 42 on it now okay so, so you bought with 35 what year is it it's a 2019 and you got it for what i bought it for 26 out the door mm. so okay but this was 25. this was last year so, so they're higher now gas huh? prices have gone up and that means they went up yeah, and I, I, I did, I looked at a, um, I, I went in on CarMax and just said, like, what's well, my car worth? I haven't looked recently. Dude, ours I'm is, wondering that, if, is good. See what, the, see what the trade-in value is. And did you trade it in? Is that what you did? I traded my Mustang in to I CarMax. I need to talk to you more off the air about this, but. So, but um, <clears throat> that car's value, I think they were going to give me like 25 for it. or twenty. This maybe they're, Maybe 26. I forgot what it was. And this was like several months ago before gas even, you know, where it's at now. And this is just recently? This is, this is. No, this is a few months ago when I looked. Oh man! But they were needing me for trade in. And I have now. like a base model Prius for 2019. Um, it's like the eco version, so it doesn't have like a spare tire. It still has like all this other stuff that Toyota puts in it. But um, I, I, you know, I said it's the it's the opposite of Disneyland. I said it doesn't cost very much, but it is extremely boring. It's it's yeah. not a fun car. No, you of know, course nobody's not. gonna enjoy driving it. Yeah, but that's coming from a guy like you that likes having all these oh, I fast love, cars. I love right? a fun car to yeah. drive. And but dude, right now I don't give a care how fun the dumb thing is. I want to stink and be able to afford to drive to work. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like now, I I live close to work too right now. But the <clears throat> but there is some things that might change, and I might be driving a little bit farther to do some stuff on the side. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't really want to be driving. Uh, I think my battery is about to die. We might end this episode. Actually, it is. I don't want to be driving uh, a Dodge Ram. With uh, almost seven dollar diesel prices an hour yeah. one way, yeah. So, so but the realities yeah. of what we live in. I guess we totally got sidetracked on this one. <laughs> but in all reality, I kind of like to do this episode. We're going to be talking about the First Amendment. I uh, my camera is about to die, so we need to end this one right now because it's probably going to shut up on us in the middle of it. But uh, I guess we'll just end it there. Yeah, and we'll see you guys. Stay tuned. Michael will be on with the next one, and we'll be talking about the First Amendment and. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, you guys really stay tuned to this, and, and that way, when we do do that one, you could we can pick that apart in that one. Oh yeah. So it gets more time. So yep. all right, guys. See you on the next one.